Hi, my name is Travis Townsend from Tune Up Your Web. Uh, this video is in response to a question that I got on a video that I posted on YouTube called uh, How to Podcast Part 1 Equipment and Setup. I got a question from a guy named St. Lincoln86. Uh, first, he talks about uh, wanting to do a new podcast. He says, I'm looking to do a solo podcasting see if I like it, and I bought a Behringer Podcast Studio for 87 bucks on Amazon. I think that's a great uh, starter kit. It's got five inputs. One of them's an XLR. The others are quarter-inch jacks, which is fine because you can always get an adapter or something. But uh, it also comes with Audacity, a uh, download link, but it comes with other software to use. That's a great starter kit. So um, if you don't have a whole lot of money, 87 bucks. Can't beat it. The only thing I would caution you is about the, the mic stand for the desk that it comes with. Um, you know, in that video that I did, I talked about when you put down things on a desk or you bump it or something like that, it's going to pick up on the microphone. So I always use a boom mic. I bring it in from the side so I've got all the room in front of me to move around. It's perfect. But again, this is a starter kit, so uh, I would just caution you to be careful with that mic stand. He goes on to say... Um, I have a question. Do I have to pay to have my podcasts on the internet? I have a WordPress blog and was hoping to post them there without going through iTunes or anything. Any help or info would help. Okay, so uh, I think that's actually perfect. I use uh, WordPress for all of my podcasts. There's a very simple and free program called PodPress, which is a plug-in to WordPress, and that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you how to upload uh, your podcast to your server and set up podcast uh, or pod press for your web uh, your WordPress blog. Sorry, there's a whole lot of pods and webs in there. Um, okay, now this is all considering the fact that you have a self-hosted WordPress site. I don't know how a, uh, a, a WordPress hosted website works. You may be able to install the plugin and, and do it there, but I don't know. I doubt that it's going to work the same way because they have a lot of restrictions on what you can upload to the WordPress uh, servers. I use HostGator for my hosting company. I used to use PowWeb, but they're horrible, and I tell everyone, uh, stay away from PowWeb because their customer service sucks and because uh, they don't actually offer... Uh, unlimited bandwidth or data or disk space. It's actually 25 gigs. If you search through all their documentation, you'll find that they're being deceitful. HostGator, on the other hand, does have unlimited uh, bandwidth and disk space. So I use HostGator. So you've got a, a self-hosted WordPress website. We're going to show you right now how to install PodPress. So you go to your WordPress, log in. I'm going to use my friend Sandra's. We just put this website on yesterday. All it is at this point is is basically uh, a front page with a uh, website coming soon. Uh, and then if you click this, it sends her an email. Okay, so go back to the dashboard. You're not going to have any access to the PodPress if you go there. I mean, you may. I'm going to delete it after this video, though. Okay, so go to your plugins. Click Add New and type PodPress. Then you're just going to click install. Yes, OK to install. And activate the plugin. With the plugin activated, you'll notice down here on the left hand side, there's now a drop down. So click that drop down, and I'm going to show you a couple of things. First of all, in just the, the first page here of settings, you're going to see this Mighty Mouse thing here with the WordPress and this uh, RSS feed kind of thing powered by PodPress and WordPress. We're going to replace those, and I'll show you how. This one here, this image, is 300 by 300 pixels. Just open Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever uh, photo editing program you're using and create something new. I did that for Sandra so that I can show you. This one here is 144 by 144. It says it right there for you. Okay, so, um, and this one says at least 600 by 600 but I did mine at 300 by 300. Okay, so um, for now, what I'm going to do is go just to the general settings, and I'm going to tell this... Uh, okay, so they've already placed it. Normally, it would say WP content. It would be something like this. WP dash uh, content forward slash uploads. And that's what it would look like, and there would be nothing right here. 
Now, earlier I did uh, a video and I didn't like the quality, so I'm doing the video over. Uh, and I and I plugged this information in here. So this is actually where I want my where I want my audio. I want it just right in the root directory uh, um, because I like to have everything in one space, and it also makes it easier once you start creating your um, your posts. Okay, so update, and that's really all I'm going to talk about right now about the 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 uh, settings. Dig into this. Get into this. If you have any questions, check out the documentation that comes with PodPress. They've got a support forum. Lots of ways to find out what all this stuff means. I'm not going to get into it on this uh, video, but there's a lot of stuff here that you're going to want to get into. So, basics. We're going to get the thing uh, installed on your on your WordPress website. Get some audio on there, and I'm going to show you how to create a um, a listing. So. What I want to do before I do that is I want to go back over to the general settings, show you this. We're going to replace these images. Now I've logged in. I'm using CyberDuck. Normally I use Transmit, but CyberDuck's a free program, and this is a uh, this is my laptop, so I I do most of my data transfer on the G5. CyberDuck's a good uh, free FTP to use, though. Okay, so <clears throat> where these images are. These Mighty Mouse images are going to be in your WP con content, in your plugins, PodPress, and images. So let's open up here, PodPress. Okay, PodPress images. <sighs> okay. It took a minute there to refresh. Okay, so what I did again is I, in Photoshop, I created a couple of images, um, which I'm going to just, I named them the same thing, Powered by Pre PodPress Large and Powered by PodPress. This one is, as you can see, dimensions 300 by 300. This one here is 144 by 144. I'm gonna select them both and just drag them over here to the images folder. It's gonna ask me if I wanna Replace them. Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to replace those two images. Go back over, refresh, and show you how they've changed. If it does, there you go. Okay, so now I've got custom images. Now these are the images that are going to show up in iTunes or Podcast Alley or Blueberry, wherever you're getting your podcast from, with the description. So it's going to show that little image. That's the image that's going to show up. So you do want to change that. Make sure you do. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to upload my audio to a directory on uh, the FTP. You don't have to do it this way. You can set up your, your podcast however you want. If you want to put them in uploads, put them in uploads. It's up to you. This is how I do it. So if you want to know how I do it, this is it. Okay, what I'm going to do is go over to my audio. I've got them in a folder called Podcast. I want all my MP3s in a folder called Podcast in the root directory. So I'm just going to drag that over to my FTP. It's about 12 megabytes, so it's going to take a few minutes to upload. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is show you how to add to uh, a post. So basically with, um, with PodPress installed on your WordPress site, all you have to do to create a new podcast is go to Posts and click Add New. The title of your podcast is whatever whatever you've done. So I'm going to name this one Sandra Benton Summertime. Okay, and I'm going to create a new category called Podcasts. Okay, so now I've got a new category. This is the title of her of the post. Now this is this is a blog software, but when you use it with media files, the uh, the title of your post then becomes the title of your um, of your 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 podcast episode. So as you can see, this is still uploading. I'm going to wait for just a moment. I'll go ahead and click publish on this. Normally, my audio files would already be there, but uh, now that this is published and when this is done transferring, I'll refresh and then you can see right down here where add media files. But because there are no media files there yet, okay, it's there. So um, 
on a normal blog post, you would type whatever. You're going to type your, your, your info all in this area here of your blog. But because this is a podcast, you're just going to select the file that you want to select. Do the, the um, title here, Sandra Benton Summertime. Okay. And, and that's it. Now I'm just going to hit update. Or if this was a full new episode, then it would just be uh, published. So view post. And there it is. You've got your listening, your box here. That I recorded, by the way, with my iPhone. So um, you can download the MP3 by clicking this little button or clicking here. You've got the pop-up player. This is a really cool. It's a really cool and free way to get your podcasts online. So once again, WordPress self-hosted website, um, PodPress free plugin. Upload all your files to a directory on your server. And then uh, customize all the settings, customize your Power by PodPress images, and you'll be all up, uh, up and running. So, um, again, dig through these settings, figure out what everything means. Um, general settings, you can set up exactly what your podcast is about. You've got other uh, info on here. Just dig into this, and uh, and I think you're going to learn a lot about podcasting. But um, but to get your stuff online, this is all you need: WordPress, PodPress, and um, and a self-hosted server. <laughs> Use uh, HostGator, by the way, and go to my website. Click tuneupyourweb.com. Click on the banner on the right-hand side, HostGator. Let them know that I sent you. And uh, good luck with your podcast. Take care.